Hello friends and welcome back to Picture Astrology and to the series of planets through various houses according to different ascendants. And in this series we will talk about placement of Sun in the 8th house for an Aquarius ascendant horoscope. So when your chart has the water bearer sign Aquarius as the rising sign, Sun becomes the lord of 7th house because 7th house contains the sign Leo and Virgo goes into the 8th house. So we have a placement where lord of 7th sun is in the 8th house. So this placement is actually very tricky to interpret because first of all 8th house is a house of big mystery. It is never easy to interpret. 8th house related affairs and sun is an all important planet. Uh, it represents the core of your being. It represents your soul and in this case it will also represent your 7th house which is your spouse and partnerships. So in next few minutes we will try to decode this mysterious placement of sun. So before we start our analysis let's just see how many houses this placement is going to directly affect? So first of all, the seventh house because Leo sign is present here, which is Sun's own sign. Eighth house definitely because Sun is present in the eighth house. And from the eighth house, Sun will have a direct aspect here on the seventh, uh, second house, which is the house of your family, family of birth your income, uh, not income, but your immovable property, uh, property or wealth you accumulate in life. So for at a high level, I have listed down uh, some of the areas of life which this placement will be influencing and we will talk briefly about these in the coming few minutes. So sun represents your core self, your core nature or your soul also. So when that sun is placed in the 8th house, which is generally a mysterious house or it is also a house of many hidden things. So first thing which happens is the person comes across as someone who likes to keep many things to themselves. They don't open up very easily to their friends or family or anybody you know they will open up only when they are sure of the person they are talking to or they are familiar with only few selective people they are not <clears throat> very open to strangers at all yet their nature is very analytical they are in their heart and mind they are making all the calculations in every situation they are analyzing things and when they feel confident then only they go and approach anybody. So they, they kind of work in silo or they usually keep to themselves before reaching out or opening up to others. So this can be many times construed as someone who has an introvert personality which may not be the case and a lot depends on Saturn but because the nature of Saturn see Saturn because the Lord of Ascendant which governs your mental abilities and nature is your Ascendant sign and Ascendant Lord is Saturn and Saturn's natural tendency is also shyness. Saturn is not like Mars or Mercury or Venus who is an outward personality. So combined with the Ascendant sign of which is a Saturn dominant sign and that is also another philosophical sign which promotes high level of thinking. Sun present in this hidden mysterious 8th house place gives a personality which could be construed as an introvert. But in their mind you know they have very active and fertile mind both because the ascendant is Aquarius which as I said is a highly philosophical sign as well as the Virgo uh, sun. You know, Virgo sign is the most analytical sign. So these two forces combined 
gives them a very thinking personality they like to think alone and open their true nature only to selected few people not for everybody so for most people there is always an unknown quantity about their nature you know people find it difficult to fathom or understand such personalities now with this placement of sun if saturn is very well placed say either in the first house or fourth house or some other placements and there is a good aspect of jupiter then the person could become a philosopher because the positive side of 8th house will be enhanced now if there are negative influences then there is a possibility that person might get into some kind of negative habits also you know person with sun here and highly affliction uh, say rahu or other placement uh, other planets afflicting moon and sun simultaneously can push them into loneliness or at some point of time they might start taking you know some kind of substances or something you know so that's why i said the influence on this sun is very important now eighth house is also the house of your life force it also shows your longevity but we'll not talk about that because there are many things involved but the eighth house influences also shows you know like a spark plug so to as i always said um to start an engine you need a spark plug the initial spark has to come from the spark plug and sun in this place in the eighth house actually shows that the person is self starter you know they see, may seem aloof alone or you know keeping to themselves but their mind is very active they are always thinking about something they are always thinking about doing something new and that makes them enterprising also now what happens is because of the 8th house placement they may think of too many things at a time they might start one thing then abandon that then start another thing then abandon it and then start the another third thing and get success only after two three attempts that is very likely if again saturn and 10th house are supporting that way so just this placement shows a self starter nature still though you know uh, somewhat introvert but always thinking something going on in mind and always taking some or the other initiative and generally they get success in life after you know second third attempt now again if there are many positive influences on the sun this can change the, you know they can simultaneously do two three enterprises and get success in all of them but just this placement of sun indicates towards this now this placement of sun in this 8th house also has a significant say on money related matters or financial wisdom of a person because 8th house shows others money and there is a direct aspect of this on the second house which shows any ways your accumulated wealth so now sun being your soul or your core of your being what this placement indicates generally is that this kind of people are always very interested in others money or in doing business or things or new enterprises which involves others money they might start up businesses which include taking money from others and applying it or investing it and earning interest on top of it many times because sun is also the lord of 7th house which shows their partners or wives or husband if the influence on sun is good if there are positive influences on the sun then their married partners you know their wife or husband or their business partners they become very helpful in their business enterprise and they get success from those money now sun is also responsible for your general health and 
in particular it represents your heart so sun's placement in this eighth house can show some kind of problem with blood circulation in life and it is always advisable for people with this placement to do some kind of cardio exercise regularly and this is also true because when you have an Aquarius ascendant the lord of the first house which owns your body is Saturn and Saturn and Sun are considered enemies so Sun is anyways naturally not well inclined towards this ascendant and add to it the placement in the 8th house can cause problems related to blood circulation or cardio related so therefore you know some kind of breathing exercises uh, some um, control over the food habits uh, you know uh, taking care of digestion is always recommended when you have sun's placement in the Virgo sign in the 8th house so my dear friends this was my quick analysis of sun in 8th house for an Aquarius ascendant which is in the sign of Virgo I hope you like this please do like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and for following this series of planets through various houses and various uh, signs for ascendants and hope to see you again soon bye bye